Hi, I'm Jane. I'm a social worker and a yoga facilitator. And today I'm here to talk about emotions. So welcome to this present moment. You may have shown up here with a strong emotion. I welcome you to honor yourself in as much as you want to shut your emotion down and speak to your state of being as if there's something wrong. Can you please slow down in this moment and honor your feelings? So what might that look like? In the mind, it's moving from the judgment of emotion to honoring yourself and saying, okay, emotions are part of life. So I'm bringing my hands to my heart and belly in honor of you and your emotions. I'm breathing deeply the best that I can into my belly. So through the nose to the heart and the belly, let's just do that together. And I'm exhaling through pursed lips. What we're looking here for my friends is to bring your nervous system into what we call parasympathetic or the rest. I am safe. I can calm myself down part of the nervous system. So the assumption is that you've shown up and safety isn't your concern because then we want sympathetic tone or fight, flight, fright. But most of us, all of us, some of the time get so triggered in the present moment as if we're unsafe and then we we're very reactive to our world and we become unhappy and we make our loved ones unhappy. Universal truth of humanity and we can do better by being really keenly aware of the present moment, using that observer mentality, becoming the observer. It's in other videos where we say, okay, right here and now, I'm feeling an awful lot. What is going on? It could be interpersonal. We know that when we have two interpersonal people activated, nothing gets accomplished. My friends, you who have shown up, I am inviting you to do the work calming your nervous system with breath and grounding in the present moment and just, not just, it isn't simple, asking yourself, what does this emotion mean? Let's just say it's anger. How can I soothe my anger so that I can communicate from a place of increasing grace? Let's say it is fear. How can I calm my nervous system down so I recognize that in this present moment, I'm looking around this process of orienting, here I am, Deep breath in through the nose. Heart belly, hold at the top for two seconds and then blow out through pursed lips again. Here I am safe and sound, calm. Here we are safe and sound, calm. We do not know our futures, meaning, so bear with me here. We can prepare for a future. We can't redo the past. So when I talk about welcome to the present moment, it's how can I be in this present moment with these truths? That the future is uncertain and I can prepare for it and the past is done. I can work with the material that is left over, which is why we have counselors, right? To work with the past, to come into the present moment with more grace. But in this present moment, you showed up around emotions. So your, emo your feelings matter. Your feelings matter. Get to know them. Take responsibility for them. And if somebody is judging you and saying it's too much, that's, so it's feedback you're getting. So you can decide, no, my feelings are real. They are not too much for me. So they become too much for us and others. When we act, when we react from the emotion, it isn't that you're too sensitive. It's that you want to work with your emotional state in the present moment so that you can be at the rudder of your boat, so that you can have more agency or power in the present moment with what you do with your emotions. So let's come back to the breath again. In through the nose. Hold for two. Out through the mouth, pursed lips. Maybe when you're feeling a lot, bring thumb and forefinger together to help ground you and get back into the body. Maybe bring hands to heart and belly and breathe here. Come into this present moment 
and just get curious on these emotions. Ask them what they're here for you to learn about. What does this anger, what does this fear mean to me? What actions, we can't take actions when we're flooded with emotion. We have to breathe and get that prefrontal cortex or the front of the brain back online so that we can problem solve. So hello emotions. Thank you for showing up here today and letting me know what I need to understand. Bring compassion to those emotions. The serenity prayer often comes up in my talks because so much of our emotions is about not accepting what is and that doesn't mean we shouldn't have emotions about it. Sadness, even grief. And we can manage ourselves increasingly better by using present moment awareness, long, deep, heart, belly breaths, grounding in the present moment, bringing our hands to our body or using this mudra in the present moment so that we can respond to our emotions with increasing grace. Thank you for joining me here today. I look forward to keep offering emotional teachings that might serve you, but I won't know what they are if you don't let me know. So subscribe, share, and let me know what you're looking for. The emotional in me honors the emotional in you. Let's do this. Let's manage our emotions with increasing grace. Thank you and namaste.